Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back. So at the end of the last episode, I was talking about how can we just maximize our food farm? So I started Googling. I started looking around trying to find a few ways to uh, make that happen. Now, uh, the idea that we have with the knife tool here, uh, the Skinner's knife, 10% chance to receive a ration after killing a rat wolf. This idea works. This makes a lot of sense. Uh, it'd be better if we had more of those. That would be great. Farms are like doing okay, but it's like really limiting. Um, so then through my research, I stumbled upon this card called a temporal beacon. Now, a temporal beacon. What is that? I don't know. We have a beacon. Don't know what that is. If I look at all these things we can build, nothing unlocks a temporal beacon. So apparently the way to unlock a temporal beacon is to do 13 loops. I'm a little bit flabbergasted that we haven't actually done 13 loops yet. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to see if we can just do 13 loops here. Uh, now what I'll do, I'm going to go to chapter one, hopefully not spawn the boss. Um, I also learned a cool little, um, chrono crystal meadow river technique, uh, for like a lot of daily heal. So, uh, we'll see if we can pull that off as well, but, um, let's go with this. So for now, we're just going to spawn in groves. We'll still try to like farm food as much as we can. I might bring... I, I have to bring something else in here. Um, I could do a road lantern with this class, but I think enemies earlier from, like, uh, blob vampires is probably fine. Um, do I want to bring a battlefield card, maybe? Possible. I'll still bring a treasury to get, like, some food. We'll see how that goes. And, uh, yeah. So let's... Our goal here is going to be to hit 13 loops. 13 loops is the goal. Uh, it might not be easy. It's It might not be easy. But I'm going to try my darndest. We'll see. And hopefully we can still get some food going too. Now, it's been a long time since we've been in Chapter 1. Uh, things might go... Might be, you know... A little bit easy. But we'll see. Okay, so here's our meadow. Here's our river. I'm going to wait until we find a, uh, a chrono crystal as well. And I'll show you this little trick that I learned. And it's very, it's very smart. A lot of you guys probably already know this. But um, I haven't been using chrono crystals since we got rivers pretty much. So, oh, whoa, let's get this one down right here. Maybe we can drop something nice from this vampire. Okay, treasury. I'm happy with that, too. I'm happy with the treasury. There's our chrono. Okay. So, first things first. I'm going to put my treasury way out here. Now, chrono crystals, um, as you guys know, they double the effect of days passing on adjacent tiles. So if I were to put this one down here and then I do a meadow next to it, um, it will gain, it'll activate and it'll, this will give six on the HP per day. We're getting other benefits because of our supply and whatever. Uh, but this is giving us six per day. But now if we put a river next to this, what also happens is this is doubled again. So our daily heal is exponentially this will this will get very very out of control and this is what led me to that temporal beacon because what the temporal beacon does is uh it makes it so that time goes or the day goes 50 percent faster i believe inside the temporal beacon so if you have a bunch of like things like this you're getting so many heals so frequently spawns are happening more frequently and so if you want to like spawn in in our scenario, you spawn in more rat dogs so that you can actually um, farm food faster. Then that's the way to go, I think. Uh, so I'll try to like build this out. We'll want to do like uh, chrono crystals along here if we can. I'll still put forests here and then I'll put thickets on the outside of our river. So yeah, let's do that. Let's wait for some of this to come in. I can build this river out. I'll go up here. We'll have another meadow here and then river. And we'll kind of go along like this. 
and keep our chronos in our in our meadows with these. And I think that'll be a lot of a lot of healing, which is nice. Uh, increasing our HP is a little bit more difficult. And I could make a decent argument for mountains, but then you got like a bunch of other problems. So, hey, skeleton level, cool. Very cool. Okay, we're on loop two of 13. Let's go. I think we can get, I think we can get there in one video. I don't know. If I don't pause as much, it's possible. I tend to be an overactive pauser. We're still going to get uh, a vampire on that on that blob up there. Okay, that'll do. Okay, another chrono crystal. So if I put this one here, I think do I still want to stick to the outsides like this? I think so. I think this is better. Yeah, so the issue is that we can't place these next to the road, right? So we have to kind of build up and around. I can do like this, this, this with the meadows. This one won't get activated, but I think that's fine. This is my first time trying the strategy after seeing it. So hopefully it's going to work okay. And then I can thick it along the outside of the, of the river. Down by the river... God, I miss Chris Farley. You live in a van down by the river. <laughs> Damn. R.I.P. Yep, that'll do. So it'll be a little bit for me to practice with, like, how to place these correctly. I probably wanted to place this more on that outer section like we normally do, but... Uh, summon quality over defense? Yeah. Now, we only have like a 10% chance to get food from these rat dogs, so it's not a ton. Uh, so if we go up here, right, do an L. We can't L here. Yeah, that's the that's the problem. So I want to place this like we traditionally do. Uh, but because I'm in this spot, I will still place it. Um, and we'll river up like so. I want to I wanna have a meadow here. So we'll river up and around like that. Okay, so we got a beacon. Let's put it right there. That means most of our, like, battle tiles around our camp are going to be ready to rock. I'm just trying to draw my guide. So we'll go up like this. We'll have an activated one here. This will activate as we pass with the river. So if we're going river up like so, then this is fine here. So fast we go in those beacons. Wow. <laughs> wow. Now, the interesting thing here will be, can we get decent item drops with this weird build? Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, skeleton level... And some quality versus... Eh, I think it's fine. Should be placing these all up there. Oh, actually, I didn't want to place this. I wanted to leave this open for another... Uh, for another placement there, but that's fine. Let's get some vampires on these blobs. <laughs> oh, wow. What a giant jump. Okay. Well, one way to get to level 13 is just not place any enemies. <laughs> 
possible. Okay, so... Chrono here. Meadow here. Uh, if we draw another treasury, I'll oblivion this forest. And then put this in. Because we have extra oblivions right now. Uh, Healing-wise, I can just put this down here. I could ransack this. Just to have more enemies to fight. But I don't know if the zombies actually drop anything that's that worthwhile. This will turn, like, some of these blobs or a rat wolf into a, into a boss, but... Evasion and attack speed. Summon quality. Tiny trade-off in level, but I think that's fine. Okay. So our HP per day is already just insane. Uh, putting this by the chrono, that's great. We want to spawn more of these, so, like, bring it on. And then if we bring the river out here, then I can cover all of this with meadow. And we'll lose out on, like, a couple of tiles. So we're going to go up to here and then around like this, I think. Right? River, river. River, river, river. Around. This one we'll keep because of the chrono. Okay, we got a boss boss dog. What do we have here? Direct damage split? No. 15% to counterattack? Maybe. Or the fully healed skeleton. Uh, we'll still have a decent chance at spawning in those... Um, those training dummies. So this one is can kind of backfire if we get to our max skeletons. Which will happen pretty quick because we're only at two right now. I think I'm just going to do counterattack. Place this early. Here is actually fine. That's a dead zone anyway. We're going to go up, 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 around. I don't know. This feels weird. So here comes the first training dummy. Now we could oblivion it too if it if it feels uncomfortable for us. There we go. Okay, simmer down. Uh, meadow up there. We're going rivers. around like so I can do a village I'm fine with that I think spawn in that bandit camp we oblivion that at the right time if I do another chrono here then I block the river path so I probably can't do that I could do a chrono here and I could do a chrono here. Which would then let us do meadow, meadow, meadow. And we build the forest or the river 
along this way. Yeah, so let's anticipate a chrono here. Okay, so we need two rooster crows. Two rooster crows. Uh, attack some quality I don't think we really need right now. We need better grimoire, that's for sure. Thank God I brought the chest because I think that might be the best way for us to actually get decent items. Speaking of. Mm, skeleton level up. Yep. We'll do that. I'd like to be able to hit these tiles, but it depends how long this healing thing is going to go. I can always oblivion it later. I don't really have any battles over here anyways. I have this one for the training dummies. Maybe it's not even necessary. Let's just hold it. Okay, that's a third village. Now, I'm putting these all here because it's just nice to balance out our healing a little bit on either side. But just the way that this is going, I'm going to place uh, I'm gonna place the village a little closer to here. So we have a nice heal right before as well. And if we spawn things in here later, we can maybe recover a little bit. See, and now we have to attack, which really kind of sucks. Uh, so we definitely need to find a way to increase our skeletons, but we're pretty reliant on vampires, maybe. Okay, this is probably a good ring. We replaced that one on the left. Uh, and the chest. This guy, man. Tax per second, 0.41. I didn't realize he was that slow. Okay, we're on five. We're almost hitting the halfway point. Six and a half being halfway. Other treasury. Oh, I forgot to check the spawn. Oh, I forgot to check the bandit spawn again. That's a hard one to keep track of for me. Even though I say it out loud, still. Look at that. 125 to 137 just from this. That's insane. Um. Is this a waste? It might be. I'm just going to hold for a sec. I'll try and get the next bandit spawn. Couple of ghosts there. Not bad. Not bad. Um, let's go with more groves. Ooh, this is going to be nice. Hello. Summon quality is improved. Attack speed is improved. Looking at the one on the left there. Uh, but very minor, and we lose some skeleton level. I don't really want to lose any more skeleton level. Uh, this, I think I have to take. It impacts our skeleton level a little bit, but I kind of have to replace that. Um... Yeah, I'm under where we want to be on level, but it seems to be holding. And I'm definitely under where we want to be on max skeletons, because if we can just get that plus one, even, I'll be much happier. Uh, 
Come on. Give me a plus one. Not getting it. Um, let's see. Evasion and summon quality. Our summon quality is already really good. Let's just keep the max HP here. Since we're not getting the summons, we're going to have to tank a little bit. Oh, and I forgot again. Oh my, you know, I'm just getting rid of it. <laughs> I forgot again. Okay. I got to really nail that. I can't really think about anything else while my brain is trying to time that thing. Okay, so we chrono there. Rivers all of this, right? We might lose some items here. I wonder if our magic HP prevents that. Oh, actually, chapter one, they won't even steal items. So I don't even really need to worry about it. But they are still annoying to kill, as you can see. 4.68. Tiny boost. But uh, I don't think it's worth it. Okay. Evasion or summon quality. What's our evasion at? Nine? This gives a tiny amount of regen. This gives us a, another little boost of regen. Let's actually make these swaps just to get the 2.0 regen happening. probably handle all of that under our magic HP. Here's more regen, more defense. Uh, no, I think this is fine considering our health is pretty high there. Um, our next village is going to be another bandit camp, so I probably save this oblivion and I just complete these treasuries. Now, River is going to go all the way up to this top part. Uh, I won't be able to place anything here. We do another, like, another Chrono Crystal probably over here, right? And then we line it with our River and then come back down here. I do have to watch. I don't really, I don't want to spawn the boss is the other thing. So that, that maybe is the challenge here, is like, how do I do this without spawning the boss? How do I get to 13 loops? Um, or, or I might be able to fight the boss, too. It depends if we can build evasion. Might work out. Here's a bit of evasion and skeleton level. Uh, regen, attack speed, trading off evasion. I mean, we're not going to fight the boss yet. Well, maybe we will. Maybe the boss comes in, like, a loop or two. Mm. On one hand, I'm surprised that we haven't been able to pull off um, a plus one skeleton here. But on the other hand... I'm not super surprised <laughs> because we don't have a lot of, like, the bigger enemies that would drop better stuff, so. This gives us skeleton level. Keep the evasion. Yep. 4.65. It's a small increase. Lose some summon quality. Lose some attack speed. I think I will take this, though. on this chrono grove case okay, so run coming up on loop seven so we're over the halfway mark oh this will definitely be getting a space very good if we can get that trait with plus one skeletons that would be great resurrection charge 
I'm going to get new traits. Uh, nope. Wow. Three strengthened heroes join. I don't think we need that because we have our archers. I guess I'll take the uh, unseen care. And yeah, so I'm looking at this and I'm looking... I don't have ways to increase my HP really beyond mountains. So if I do this build, I could consider not bringing any forests. But then we have that... We don't boost our attack speed, which is really nice. But maybe for chapter one is not as necessary. Um, yeah. Skeleton level is the same. Summon quality is up. We lose that evasion. I want to keep the attack speed. Ooh, this is up and attack speed. That's rare. And then summon quality and regen. Nope. I wouldn't mind trying to find some more evasion here because we're getting close to the point where we might have to fight the boss. Did not want to place that. Oh, I wanted to put that back in the deck. Oh my god. Where's my chronos, man? Where are my chronos at? Let me try to fill this out. We're very close to spawning the lich. Um, I'm pretty sure this is pretty well handled. I could do this to cover a spot, and then we need to cover these two. Beacon won't do that. And I have two oblivions for palaces, so that's an option as well. Skeleton level, but we get more HP, but we lose some of that evasion. I'm thinking the boss, like that magic HP, might save me two hits. Maybe. More evasion here and better skeleton level. Oh, yeah, we definitely take that. I missed it. Well, nine summon quality. Lose that 17% attack speed. I think that's probably fine. Only because we're getting it from everywhere else. So I'll keep these two oblivions if I can. And we'll make a decision here when we come around. I'll fill this slot. And then I got two, which I could Oblivion off. I'll do this meadow just to complete this. Evasion's the same. Summon quality's up a bit. Lose defense and level. Nope. Here's our Chrono Crystal. Now I gotta wait. Now I can't place anything. Hmm. Very interesting. I mean, to be fair, we still gotten four food out of this, which is not bad. It's not bad, but um could be better. I just think if we brought mountains and we only circled these with mountains even. I mean, maybe I just don't even bring the... Maybe I don't even bring these um, resource things. I'm at 20% evasion. I don't see a way of increasing that here. Two skeletons max is killing me. We're still alive. Like, don't get me wrong, but...
28 defense. We're at 20% evasion here. Hmm. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I think we we don't summon right now. We at least do another loop. We can summon him at the start of this loop and then uh, deal with the issues and then get a chance to at least have um, something else nice drop for us. And, I, well, I doubt we're going to hit an extra perk, but that would be sweet also. Um, okay, so if I Vampire Mansion here and that's full is there anything i could do for this slot i could battlefield it okay so he's in and we can still make the decision as to whether or not we uh help him or not so 200 hp per day 212 um, I could anticipate a chrono out here. Or I could chrono this and do our L like so. Yeah. We also get like all... We do get the rashes from placing meadows, thankfully. One of the reasons for bringing them in. Uh, I have a tile here I can use. Actually, I could meadow this, but it's fine. Let's put this one here. Now I don't need to oblivion any lich palaces. Uh, I'll put this one here to impact this fight. That's fine. Big, that's a skeleton level boost, actually. It's a tricky one, but it is there. I might want to take this, but we're losing some of that evasion, which we want to keep. There's an orb of expansion. one. Uh, this drops a huge amount of levels and skeletons, but we do get extra evasion. Um, against the Lich boss, that might not actually be that bad because he's probably one-shotting your skeletons anyways. Next village is a bandit. I mean, we might not even make it through here, to be honest. Here's a big skeleton level boost. One less giving us 5% evasion. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, we might just be dead. Holy shit. Any one of those big fat daily heals. No. Those evades. All oh, the daily. <laughs> wow, that is really sweaty in there. Holy crap. Oh, man, that's really intense. Um, yeah, 
So I think I think the learning here is that if we want to do something like this, we need to have the mountains as well. I wonder if I could do it without the forest. Like, I'm getting 100% attack speed, which is obviously really good, but is it worth it? It's just like the game is not giving us a plus one skeleton, which to me is saying I need to bring out better enemies. Mm, the next fight's probably okay. This tile is actually quite scary. A daily heal, though, man. Having something over our health won't make sense. So at some point... Probably once our river comes around here, we don't even need to do that anymore. But I definitely need to find ways to improve my HP. So mountains, I think, are a go. But can I bring those and forests? I guess I could argue that I just let forests fall off and I only use thickets in this type of scenario. Might work. So we dropped an Oblivion there. It's fine. I need more river, man. Give me that river. I'm just playing this to, like, just to play it. Um... Where am I here? We have a long way to go. I wonder if I can fight those guys. Those training dummies. It's a small boost to the left one. We lose all of our summon quality, though. All of it. I might have to wait. Here's a max skeleton, finally. We do lose half a skeleton level. We lose 5% uh, evasion. But we need that extra skeleton. That's going to be big. Skeleton level is actually doing okay right now. Um, 9.46 on loop 8. Come on, baby. Plus one skeletons or 20% chance to exceed. I think we take plus one skeletons, man. More things for the, for the Lich to go after, too, if he doesn't target us. We're only at 15% evasion again. So we'll look for ways to improve that. I'll just place a thicket here to complete that. Six percent evasion. But we lose all of our summon quality. It's not a big difference there. So now we're officially over our our maximum health every time the day hits. Um, which is good, but again, if we can unlock this temporal beacon, it makes that even better. Makes that even better. 
Because it just accelerates uh, the day within that, within the thing. Um, yeah, whereas this, I don't know, this may actually hurt us a little bit, thinking about it. Because we're moving faster between the tiles, so we're actually outpacing the day. Because our heals are less valuable. Attack speed and evasion, but we lose that skeleton. I cannot lose that skeleton right now. So we'll do the river like this if we even if we ever get to that point. invasion boost. I cannot replace that ring on the right. There's no way. Um, so I think we replace the one on the left. We, we drop level ever so slightly. Okay, so where is our scariest tile? We have the help from the archers there. It's this one, I think, that got overrun really quick. I think that one we might even want to oblivion now. I think I will. Um, these dogs can still move over there, and they might because they're chronoed, so we'll see. Um, but yeah. If we want to keep this run going, I think that's... We got to get rid of that tile. This is assuming that we beat the Lich, which we might not. I'm only at 16% evasion. There's a bunch of things that need to go right. Okay. 9% evasion and attack speed, but we would lose all of our summon quality. This is attack speed that we don't need. This is not an increase because of the bonus. Um, this does not really help us. We could lose 5% here and gain 3% there, so that doesn't work. We do have 7% evasion here, but then we lose that skeleton. That's the problem. That's the issue there. Coming up on it. I mean, I gotta try it. Man, just not getting the evasion at all. Unless I want to drop skeleton. Maybe I drop skeleton level. Maybe that's what I do uh, for the boss. Maybe that's what I do. Drop that ring on the right. It'll deal less damage, but we have four of them. I think we need four of them. Uh, well, I guess, like, here goes nothing. 
Here goes nothing. Is 5% evasion worth it, though? 9 is better. Takes us to 24% evasion. And we get attack speed. 25% generous rounding. I could take another seven and go to three skeletons if I wanted. Uh, let's see how the fight goes. I can switch it halfway. And he's attacking me. There's the evade. Go skellies. Oh my god, bro. What? Holy crap. We have our four. I don't know if we lose it. So I'm going to try to get our evasion up. We have the 15. Target someone else. Oh, dude. That's so sad. That's so sad. That's so sad. Okay, so we did learn, though. We did learn. I'm going to bring in a cemetery, I think. I'm going to bring in a cemetery. Um, The other stuff was fine. I think I'll bring in cemetery and rocks. And then, like, that feels really good. I could maybe even ditch the treasury since technically I'm not trying to farm a lot here. I'm trying to unlock that other card. I think that might help. Um, the Ancestral Crypt actually would have saved us there too because we would have had that full resurrection charge instead of having that empty that extra item slot. But um, I mean, if I can kill if I can kill skeletons, then I probably don't need this. Yeah, I probably don't need the, the resurrection. But it is a full resurrection. This lowers your item quality, too. And that could be the difference maker between getting, like, more max skeletons and stuff. I'm going to try the crypt with this similar build. And I think we can do it in this in this next go. I think we can pull it off. So 13 is the goal. Uh, now we have a better strategy for this kind of stuff. Uh, let's hope that it works, guys. Wish me luck. We'll see you in the next one. Uh, wait, actually... Maybe I bring treasuries and maybe I don't spawn the harpies. Maybe I don't do the nine uh, blocks and we just build around treasuries for extra like bonus stuff. Because um, it gives that random resource. Uh, and then we get card drops. I'm going to go with this. Okay. Wish me luck. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.